Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm coming to you from the beautiful Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, Texas, and we're in the community of Regent Park. I've got some out-of-state buyers who's looking for a smaller house, but on a larger lot. So uh, this one might be a good fit for them. Let's go check it out. All right, this house is built by Brightland Homes, formerly Guillen Homes. It is 2,200 square feet. It's a four bedroom house with three full baths. We're located right off I-10 on the south part of uh, Bernie, Texas. And I'm gonna put a link in here with the uh, my driving tour of this community where I also show off the amenity center because it does have a really nice amenity center. Uh, the sales rep was telling me that this house is all stone and stucco. Definitely a little bit of an upgrade from a brick uh, outside. All right, let's head on inside. This house is almost complete. They just replaced this door. It is gonna get stained a black. Kind of match this trim work here. So uh, yeah, there's still a little bit of work to be done in this house, but it just came back on the market um, and it's almost complete. They are currently asking, I believe 508. And uh, they've got some this weekend package deal thing to where if you've got it under contract this weekend, they'll throw in like the refrigerator or something like that. So they're trying to get this house moved. It, they, uh, sales rep boss told me this has executive package, meaning you're gonna have 11 foot ceilings in here, eight foot doors, which always look nice. All right, well, let's go check out one of the bedrooms right up front. It's an okay size bedroom. Like I said, still with the tall ceilings. We're, here's our first of three full bathrooms. That's just gonna be a closet. No net sense of opening that up. Uh, this, this little neat little rotunda type feature, it's kind of neat. You could always hang a chandelier or something just to make a little statement right when you come into the house. It's always kind of cool. All right, while we're at the front of the house, let's go check out the garage. One of the other things because of this executive package, you got uh, some panels there that are opaque so you can see, get some extra light in here. And that really shows well. That was the original door that was on here that they upgraded. All right, coming in, you do have an itty bitty island. So if you're wanting a big island, uh, maybe it's not for you, but if you're trying to keep your house around the 2000 square foot range, that does it because yeah, that's what this house is. Um, this is a gas community. Uh, I love the fact that it already has the undermount lighting already has got blinds, uh, a lot of new construction does not carry that. This uh, grill cover here does fit into your full sink, so that's really convenient. Comes with Frigidaire appliances. Like I said, if you get on the contract this weekend, this weekend only, you can get a refrigerator. All right, but here's your uh, pantry, basic corner pantry. And, oops, almost skipped right over this. This is a nice little flex room. It's not the biggest, but it definitely works if you want to put a small couch or even a big size couch on this side and put your TV up on this side. Just in case if you want to watch a football game and your wife doesn't want to watch it, you can close the doors and have a little quietness. But uh, you could do a couple different things with this little space. Turn into an office if you want to as well. Or even a dining room if you chose to, because it's close to the kitchen. But this is your designated dining room space. You got these two lights kind of side by side. So you would have like your full kitchen, dining room table, living room space. Um, this house has also been upgraded with speakers in these uh, 11 foot ceilings. So that's always kind of nice to have. Lots of wall space on this main wall. Let's go check out these bedrooms down this way. Oh, something else unique. Uh, they're calling this little tech center. So if you want to just have your little computer thing, they got a little cubby for it right there. And we're coming up to our other two secondary bedrooms. 
good size room here. And they got the builder's grade lights in here, but they're all gonna be blocked uh, for fans. So I always tell my clients, like you don't need to spend big time money having the builders put fans in. You can get them for a fraction of the price from Lowe's and put them in yourself or just have a handyman come do it. But this is the second full bath. It's gonna have more of a, it's gonna have your good adult sized countertops, which all the newer houses have compared to some of these older ones. But nice, nice little bathroom. And then the other bedroom. Kind of just your standard closets. But I love the fact that the tall ceilings and tall doors. All right, let's head on outside because that's really what my clients are looking for is a bit bigger lot. And that's what kind of sets this house apart from some of the others. This house does face to the south, so you're not gonna have the sun on your back porch in the happy hour time. But yeah, you do have a lot of space between this house and your next house. Nice little wrought iron fence there but check out the size of this backyard. That is a really big backyard that you could do anything you want to. If you're hearing some road noise, yes, that is I-10 uh, back over the distance there. So you can definitely hear that. Uh, I try to show off the good and the bad. Oops, looks like they've been watering this. We did have some good rain, but I feel myself sinking. So I'm not gonna walk around this yard. I got my nice boots on but yes this patio is nice it's gonna have a block for ceiling fan as well make sure i'm not tracking any mud and i'm not all right there's the whole main space let's go check out the master bedroom what do we have here oh the laundry room so here's your finally the laundry room real conveniently located to the master bedroom which is right here so decent sized master bedroom lots of light and then the master bath and dual vanities they got the upgraded uh, black features I missed the light there we go Big, big shower, mud inset, very nice. Water closet there, and then the big closet. And we've got even a off season rack there, get a little stick, be able to put up your sweaters and stuff, although Right now in October and it's starting to cool off a little bit here in Texas. So it's really nice. We were in the low 80s today and later on this week we're going to be in the high 70s and that's going to feel so nice. I'm ready for that. This, this summer has gone on too long. This is like the first official day of fall for Texas because we were only in the low 80s instead of low 90s. Very happy for that cold front to come through yesterday. It brought us some nice rain too. But we are officially done with the 90s in Texas now. As of early October 2023. All right, that's going to wrap the tour of the Oleander plant built by Brightland Homes, formerly Gian, in the Regent Park community in Bernie, Texas. This house is almost complete. It just came back on the market, and they're asking 508 for it. 2,200 square feet with over like 0.3 something acres. So it's a really large lot great community convenient to everything you want but if you want some more information about this house feel free to reach out to me like i said my clients are interested so i'm not gonna make it public unless they decide they're not interested or if they get another contract but uh yeah if you're looking for a real estate agent that does these video tours for self for your people my guys are coming next week so i want to get them all the information so we're not wasting time once they get here anyways hope you like this video if you did 
hit that like button. And of course, I want to subscribe to my channel. And as always, share these videos with your friends and family. And if you want to reach out to me, my phone number will be in the description box. All right, take care now. Bye.